Hey, 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 all right. There we go. That was the explosions and, and everything, man. Yeah. All right. Uh, hey, hey, I'm here. It's uh, Wednesday, and we got a lot to talk about. And uh, uh, this is Coffee with the Curmudgeons. Mm-hmm. Coffee right here. And I'm with uh, the one and only Jason Allen. Say hi, Jason. Beware the Ides of March and beware of the curmudgeons today. We have a lot to get to and some fun stuff waiting for you. Uh Breaking news, a lot of, a uh, whole bunch of news that turned out to be a whole lot of nothing. We'll get to that a little bit later. We got some tech right. stuff, we got some uh, entertainment news, we got all sorts of crap going on, so that's us. So we're ready. We're ready. Are we ready? We're beyond ready. If, if there was a DEFCON point five after one, right? Yeah. We would be that. Um, let's talk about uh, the fact that I almost... Took a, took a dive over here, and the show didn't happen. Listen, we are always thinking of ways to enhance uh, your experience here at Newsbox, right? And so we, when we were doing our early, you know, four thirty-five uh, production meeting in the morning, oh yeah, you know, Doc, Doc said in between bites of his biscotti, he said, "Hey, we could use more physical comedy." And I said, "That's a good, that's a great idea." So he got up on his chair, was messing around with the lighting, and. Well, he, he came within a nanosecond of uh, boo it's, it's this light right here. <laughs> right here. It just wasn't showing up. So I, I've worked on these lights forever, and it's like I'm, I'm the world's worst stage right. person, you know, lighting and <laughs> that sort of thing. I mean, I can get the cameras. I'll get all this. Worst. Look, cool. Wow, look, 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 look what we're doing. Look, look, I can do this. Oh, See, I can. Bam. Well, yeah. Bam. Did it go? Did it go? Oh, see, see I can do that. I can do all these things, but when it comes to uh, when it comes to lighting, yeah. And I mean, this is this is as good as it gets. Right. IKEA. So, um, for you guys to uh, make sure that you're keyed up on all our vernacular and all the little nuances that goes on the show. If you hear Doc say, "I'm just not feeling it," you know he's about ready to mess with something, and it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be fun stuff. I'm just not feeling it. I'm just not, I'm just not feeling it. That's the way I felt about uh, the Donald Trump tax returns yes. last night. So tell us about that. Let me pull up the tweet too while you're right. while you're telling us about uh, what happened last night. Well, if I was uh, the A uh, man. <laughs> if I was the betting man, if I was also the editor of the uh, Milwaukee whatever Sentinel, okay, we'll be the Sentinel. Why not? Uh, it used to be Milwaukee Review, right? Yeah, now it's Clackamas Review. Oh, okay. Milwaukee, if I was the uh, editor in chief of the Milwaukee Sentinel, my uh, lead, you know, above the fold, the lead would have been Shakespearean. Much mm-hmm. ado about nothing. That's, you got it right there on the screen. Uh, there it is. Yeah. Uh, Seventeen hours ago, that was last night. Breaking. <laughs> Rachel Maddow. I'm going to do the typewriter in the background. We've got <laughs> Trump. We've got. Here it is. Breaking. Yes. We've got. We've got Trump tax returns. Hey, that's a bombshell, right? You're thinking to yourself, "Holy crap! It's Watergate. This is great. You know, we're going to see it all live." Tax. You know, let's let's, let's <laughs> tax returns. Meaning mm. returns, like 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 I would think. Oh, two two thousand and five, two thousand and twelve, yeah, yeah. twenty thirteen. Where's he getting tonight. his money from? The whole spider web. Yep. I mean, we're looking for all sorts of you know, because you figure a guy like Donald Trump, his tax returns are at least going to be a hundred uh, to one hundred and fifty pages long, with all the little different right. sort of write offs. Yeah. Yada yada. You bet. And and so then what we get is an hour later, um, it is right here. Uh, Rachel Maddow. Uh, let me just because because I love this so much. <laughs> there it is. Bump bump. Can we see that? There you go. What we've got is uh, the, uh, breaking. We've got Trump tax returns tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern time, MSNBC. And then what we've got is from 2005, the President's 1040 form. Details come tonight. Right. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But you're thinking, right? To 2005, I mean, he, he was probably all sorts of uh, nefarious, shady dealings going on. There's got to be some juice there. There's got to be some sizzle to make uh, Rachel Maddow scream on Twitter, you know, breaking news, bombshell, bam. Right. Well, there there was there was a uh, <laughs> there was a Russian connection. Yes. Uh, he sold a house <laughs> to a Russian guy. Right. Yeah. And so, you know, I. I 
when does this become like the Brady Bunch? Remember the Brady Bunch? Remember Marsha, Marsha, Marsha? See, I'm always like Russians, Russians, Russians. So, so you're thinking the uh, Rachel Maddow is the Jan Brady? <laughs> oh, do you think? Mm. Now, here's here's the thing. I'll people. never be a supermodel now. Anyway, here's the thing yeah. about Rachel Maddow. Yeah, I used to like her. She okay. was on this uh, this show called Air America, which was a radio show. It was a progressive talk. Uh, as a matter of fact, before he became a senator, uh, in between times when he was Saturday Night Live with a, a satellite dish on his head, which at some point I'm going to put that Cousin online. Yeah. Right. Uh, I'm Al Franken with the, with the right. election satellite. That should be his his Twitter. That should be his official uh, Senate uh, picture. Is <laughs> I downloaded it here yeah. one day. It's like you remember this with yeah. Al Franken with the satellite dish. But anyway, Al Franken was a host. Rachel Maddow was a host. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it was very progressive, etc. And then she uh, she went over to MSNBC. Yes. yes, and and I don't know. To me, that's just where things kind of and and she's she's good. She's a great presenter. Mm -hmm. She's yeah. a very good presenter. Uh, she's good at what she does. Uh, no one would take that away from her. But it, during the primaries, she just took Bernie down. She hard. buried she buried Bernie, and uh, she. What she, do you think uh, about that? Yeah. Well, I think she earned the ire of a lot of uh, progressives and a lot of progressives. Me, one of them, uh, really thought that uh, it was almost a, an act of betrayal, right? She, you know, she was supposed to be one of the standard bearers of progressive, you know, media, and it felt, felt like that she had just uh, put on the suit, you know, the little uh, the red sports coat that uh, NBC gives to all its, you know, valued members. When I watch, uh, specifically MSNBC, yeah. Which was Microsoft? Oh boy, Microsoft and NBC, and something like that. Yeah, it um, was. Yes. Uh, the the kind of what I get from it is this kind of uh, military industrial complex thing. Like right now, we're seeing this thing. Okay, we we want to take uh, the president down. We want to take President yeah. Trump. That's about the second time I've said that in in like two months, three wow, months. Wow. Um, it's, it's starting to flow off the tongue. Starting to process. <laughs> Today's um, power word is. Uh, uh, so uh, comb over, comb over is today's power. <laughs> right. But um, so what I'm saying is mm -hmm. that you know there's a lot of people who want to take Trump down. Dem on the Democratic side, you know, Hillary Clinton supporters, sure, sure. even Bernie Sanders supporters, people, you know, it's like, hey, we don't like this guy. A lot of stuff uh, going on there. Totally legitimate. But yeah. this drumbeat of Russia, Russia, Russia. Yeah. Um, yeah. Taking it back to, to the Brady Bunch. Uh, yeah. Russia, Russia, Russia. And, 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 and I think Maddow mm -hmm. is, is one of these people who just is. And, and, and what what's crazy is listening to progressive radio back in the air America days yeah. and then watching MSNBC now, like the Larry O'Donnell, uh, uh, Chris Hayes, uh, yes. Rachel Maddow. And they sound like almost like the, the shadow of Fox news. Like, like I'm like, uh, welcome to neocon channel two. You yeah. Know? Yeah. I mean, it, 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 yeah. Am I right about that or am well, I wrong? I mean, you, I, <laughs> You, no, you're not. You're not wrong. Um, I, I I think that there. I mean, I, I think it's hard for anyone to deny that MSNB is not flavored by corporate uh, interests. Um, after the uh, election, and now through the uh, first couple months here, uh, Rachel Meadows' uh, ratings have spiked. Oh, she's getting great ratings. And, uh, uh, she and I, I think that uh, for what it's worth, my personal opinion is I, I think her uh, dogged work on the uh, Russian aspect, uh, I think she is uh, just as a journalistic standpoint has done pretty well simply because she seems to be focused and more of the coherent. This is why this is going on. Here's my whatever, yada, 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 rather than just the blanket, you know, uh, cacophony of uh bombast that's out there and uh well she she like and i've i've been watching her mm -hmm. i watched her during the primaries as well and you know during the primaries she really uh, she just kind of was taken down 
Bernie Sanders. I had a hard a time lot. with that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I I thought that uh, there was a uh, th- there was definitely a meeting right where they decided uh, lock and step that they were going for Hillary, and this is what is going to be presented. Uh, MSNBC going to have a united front. This is our take on it. Go, you know. And to, be, I, to be fair and balanced. Yeah. To be fair. Oh god. <laughs> Did I say that? Um, she did have yeah. uh, uh, Sanders' uh, wife. Uh, what's her first name now? Um, uh, all right. Mm, uh, we'll just call her Ms. Sanders. I, yes, Ms. Sanders. I want to say Sanders. Julie, and I was like, that's not right. Um, uh, Jane. Isn't it Jane? I, is it Jane? I think you're right. I think it is Jane. It started with a J. Yeah, I think it is Jane. Um, anyway. Uh, cue, cue the Lou Reed. She, yeah. She did, <laughs> uh, she did not. You know, she did some interviews uh, in studio, and they were yeah. they were they were pretty good. I, I was yeah. I, I, I was okay with that. So yeah. I I feel bad because uh, my quote liberal, which I don't know what that means anymore sure. in light of this. You know, MSNBC, yeah. Rachel Maddow. Maybe we need some more aircraft carriers and whatnot. I don't know. Yeah. Um, now, uh, to be uh, also to be clear, GE does not own NBC anymore. Uh, Comcast does. Right. Um, <laughs> Comcast. That's its own. Yeah. Hi, Comcast. <laughs> As we just kind of love. As we. <laughs> Broadcast over Comcast. Hi. So any second, any second now, you're going to see, a, yep. you know, the color, uh, the color trip. Oh, Please yeah. stand by. We've been yep. taken over by Comcast. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I mean, it's uh, yeah. the Comcast. No, I know, what you, I know what you mean, because uh, labels used to be, I mean, if you were called a liberal or progressive, it was pretty rock steady uh, what your views held. But there has been a real, uh, it's, it is foggy now when someone says, well, I'm a progressive and it, it there, they are associated with Hillary and the establishment. I kind of question the uh, street creds of that. Right. Uh, and, and so I, I, I think that a lot of that has gotten muddled up and I, I do not know if it's going to shake itself out because there's a lot of people now that quote unquote, it's the trendy hip thing to say, I'm a progressive, I'm a progressive, I'm this, but you know, and I, listen, I'm not, to, not to besmirch Hillary or anything like that, but if you voted for Hillary, I voted, for, I, I voted for Hillary, but if you were, you know, Hillary is the only one, Bernie, eh, he's out there, I don't like him, it's Hillary, it's Hillary, it's Hillary, you are not a progressive. I'm sorry if I'm going to uh, make it man law right now, but you're not progressive. Yeah, so, so uh, I... Uh, rant over. Yeah, I... <laughs> one of the things I do is uh, I also... One thing I think that... that Anyone who's like on, say you're on the left side, you should watch the right side. Yeah, you should. Uh, so if you're you're way over here, kind of on the left progressive side, like I I identify myself. Yeah, you should watch a lot of Fox News. Yep. You should see what they're talking about. You know, yeah. don't watch the preaching to the choir folks and vice versa i th- i think and I think I've known people on the kind of right side of of. Mm. Um, of the uh, the spectrum, yeah, and they'll they've watched. You know, they're the ones who are screaming about the liberal media because they're obviously watching, watching it. it right, you know? yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, I last night I caught the little snippet of Rachel. That's all I needed to catch. It was like, okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah, gotcha. You mean sure. the twenty three minutes in where she actually then started? Right. Yeah, yeah, I caught it. You know, talk about burying the lead. Holy cow, twenty three well, minutes. But that's what she does, though. Yeah, she. Really if sure. you watch her. She and she's really good at it. She is good at it. She's very good at it. Yeah. Uh, so not taking that away from her, uh, but but yeah, that's 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 how she fills <laughs> her time, kind of yeah. like us right now. Um, but I <laughs> wanted to see what yeah. Fox was talking about, which yeah. this was such big media that of course Fox was. They're all over it too, right? And they're yeah. all over it. Yeah. And uh, so the Rachel Maddow of Fox News uh, 
uh, who I say is uh, uh, Tucker Carlson. <laughs> Tucker Carlson, the Rachel Maddow of Fox yeah. News. Yeah. yeah. In fact, yeah. In, in my opinion, in my opinion, mm. uh, if if you if you really, 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 really wanted to do something that that everyone would watch right here, like like I'm offering it right now, I will get we will get investors for this, Jason. OK. Executive Excellent. producer. Rachel mm-hmm. and Tucker. Head the head. show. Yeah. Ooh. Talk about like crossfire old days. There would be no, there would be no Ooh. show that would be that because Tucker's getting good ratings over on, uh, on, uh, on, uh, uh, you know, on the thing, and he's got that look. In fact, he's doing it right now. That that deer in headlights look, and Rachel right. has her look. Right. So I, I right. can just imagine. In fact, I think we're gonna mock this up for our Facebook page. We'll just get like two in the box. We'll get Tucker and Rachel with their their signature looks. You can see yeah, right like if you're that. watching the video right now. You I can like see it. there's Tucker's signature. That's when they when they talk. Now I won't point this out. I'm playing this this as, guy as Tucker's talking to Matt Damon. I'm kidding. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Uh, no, he looks like the guy from uh, Arrested Development. Uh, what's his name? Bateman? Yeah. It looks there like he Bateman, does. He does have a Bateman. I was like, is that team. Justin Bateman yeah. playing a congressman? <laughs> so, rights. I don't know if being gay is illegal, for example. Okay, well, that's Or a they kill people a, they don't like. I've been coming to that. Foreign wars, yeah. Then we can't be their well, ally, Saudi Arabia, friend. Saudi Arabia is not very happy with me either because I supported okay, this, uh, declassifying the good, 28 pages of the September 11th so report. This, this uh, congressman, Eric Swalwell, Democrat of California. Say that five times. Fast. Yeah. To a country that ignores. Um, so he had him on, and he has this uh, this website about uh, Trump and Russia or something like that. Yeah. They didn't show a screen, and so uh, Tucker actually says to him, says, "Hey, you know, back in the old days, I remember <laughs> when the <laughs> Democrats were the ones who were like, we've got to make peace, you yeah. know, with with Russia and right. China and everyone else. Right. Yeah. What's up with this now? You know, um, yeah. and and um." And then, uh, he, you know, this guy says, well, you know, Putin's, Putin's not our friend. Yeah. And uh, there's there's all of these things that uh, he brings up. You know, of course, we always bring up uh, journalists, murderers, yeah. uh, the uh, flight that I had to look up, the uh, uh, Malaysian flight that was down yes. over the Ukraine. Yes. That yes. uh, was down by a Buk missile, which was a Russian missile. Um, but we, we assume this was the Russian backed. Yeah. Ukrainians. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't think Vladimir was pulling the trigger, but who knows? Um, you know, and so so we bring all these things up. And then Tucker, right there in that little soundbite, yeah. uh, he, he, he mentions, uh, well, we're friends with Saudi Arabia, for example. We're friends with a lot of people that uh, that do really bad things right right and you know and you know that the congressman goes well i'm not talking about that right now i'm talking about russia yeah uh the the when i was growing up the difference was uh nixon went to china right nixon met with uh uh brezhnev mm-hmm uh, yeah. Who was the present premier? Premier, premier, premier of uh, the U- USSR at the time, and and you know, folks, uh, the USSR they were baddies. They were like declared opposed to right. the United States and Western democracy. Uh, if it, we're Batman, they were the Joker. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and and here's the thing: they had nukes, and the nukes. <laughs> yeah. Pointed at us, right? And they still have those nukes, and we do too, right? And, and they haven't so, gone anywhere. No, they they really haven't. Uh, and the whole point was that uh, you know, and, and and the liberal Democrats on the side were like, you know, we need to to uh, we need to sign peace treaties, yeah. uh, denuclearization, uh, and and there are famous times where we came very 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 close to nuclear war one of them i found out uh that was declassi- more than we know yeah declassified yeah. this uh in in uh the early 2000s declassified like 2003 or 5 or something like that we actually cl- came closer to nuclear war during the cuban missile crisis than even we were led to believe and right. and um and it has to do with a submarine yep. that had lost contact yeah. it was off the coast of florida yep. a, a submarine with a nuclear torpedo lost mm-hmm. contact with mother russia and their instructions were if you lose contact at some point uh you 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 you, you assume that we have gone defcon 
whatever. Right. DEFCON you, 1. DEFCON 1. You know, yeah. we're in nuclear war and you you follow your orders. And the, the Navy yeah. was, our Navy was like actually dropping like depth charges and stuff. Right. To, okay, come float up. And, and due to one very smart, uh, cool headed, uh, second yeah. in charge, yeah. um, the, the number one, the, uh, the, uh, what are they called? Executive them? officer. Executive yeah, officer XO. convinced the captain and the political officer that it would be a bad idea if we assumed that we're going to nuclear war. And so they surfaced yeah. and, um, and as you Luckily, know, didn't yeah. go to nuclear war. Right. Had that launched, we would have retaliated. And we may yeah. not all be here today. No. Uh, that that uh, that uh, uh, naval officer went on to be an admiral and mm-hmm. uh, actually was uh, well decorated and uh, well done. <laughs> Thank you. Right, yeah. um, and, you know, and probably, yeah. you know, we, we've all seen the Tom Clancy. Hunt movies. for an October. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. What's, that, what's that one with Gene Hackman, Denzel Washington, uh, Crimson something? Oh, yeah, that's a good one. You know? Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> so, I mean, that's still. Yeah. That didn't go anywhere. No. No. That's still, still at stake. Yeah. And I'm not saying, you know, we cozy up to Putin or anything like that but i think the the point is people we're, we keep looking at well if we have allies like people like saudi arabia for example yeah you can't tell us that we can't find a common ground so we don't blow each other up and blow the rest of the world up we've got the chinese by the way right yeah yeah i mean they're doing funny business themselves there's a whole lot that's not being covered in the american press about uh especially the man-made islands and uh i did see a blurb last night uh uh the taiwanese are uh they they are crazily scared they said the tensions now are so high between them and china uh they were literally pleading with the state department please you know you guys may want to talk you know please talk to the chinese and let's de-escalate that's right and uh and they literally got next to nothing in american press right i had i had to learn about it through the bbc oh well uh, yeah you know to my point yeah you know uh is is this um I, I was just uh, listening to a uh, uh, a John Bachelor program yeah. over there, uh, WABC, I think, over in New York. Right. Uh, actually, really nerdy, wonky radio <laughs> show. But you can download a yeah. podcast. He has a lot of stuff, and he's very I, I, the political uh, spectrum moves on that show, which is what sure. I like because yeah. I don't want to sit here and go, you know, hey Jason, let's talk about you know our common ground politically let's talk about different ideas yeah. and, and figure out you know because that's how we make things work in the world that's how we used to make things work that's, a, that's, that's what i was about to say that's how we used to make things work republicans yeah. and yeah. democrats yeah. used to work together in congress and actually make things happen well, there was a famous story and I, I don't know if it's just one of those urban myths right uh but there you know there's a famous story that during the day tip o'neill would just you know him and reagan were yelling Absolutely. Back and forth, and then the, at the day's end, they would, you know, Tip would march into the Oval Office, sit down, they would share a drink, and just kind of unwind, right? And w- whether it's really true or not, the thing I is, think, I think is, it was probably more than one drink with Tip, well, but you know, with Tip. But, um. but the point is, though, is that uh, even though a lot of them agreed to disagree fundamentally on a lot of you know emotionally charged issues, at the end of the day, you could still sit down. And right. talk and have some sort of discourse and find common ground. Hey, listen, America is built on compromise, you know. Uh, we, absolutely. So, but we seem to have we seem to have forgotten that lately. Yeah, the the states, the the founding, you know, uh, it, yeah. you know, <laughs> just go back in history and read about the great compromises that have happened all throughout American history. That's what has made us American. Yeah. I would actually argue that that is the strongest thing that we've come together under one idea, this idea of America from all cultures, uh, all right. locations, religions, right. and and have created this this country. And, and the way we've done it is we've built it on compromise. And what in the hell is going on now? What is going on? I've never seen it. I mean, I, yeah. I, I was pretty aware. I lived through the Nixon era. And we well. are, we are Cold War dudes, you know. We, uh, I still remember very... Uh, 
I mean, obviously, it was towards the end of the Cold War, but I still remember a time when we had to do drills where we would actually have to sit underneath our desks at school because, you know, it was an air, you know, a uh, nuclear test, right? You had to, like, go underneath your uh, desks and, you know, cu- duck and cover stuff. Or remember those f- folks of my age, do you remember the time when you would see the signs on the side of the brick walls, whatever institution you're walking by, it would say, fallout shelter. Right, you know, this is where you go when uh, the uh, murd hits the oscillating blades, and uh, but I, I I remember that, but that's just it's it's lost today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull up something here. You're gonna okay. remember this one. I'm not sure if this is the uh, the original, but uh, we're gonna try it. Uh, I've been wanting to share this with with folks. Okay. This is supposedly the trailer. Okay. So uh, let me just pull this up. Just share. Right. I'm going to share this because this is relevant to our interests. Um, We're going to share. Yeah. All right. Remember this one? I don't, I don't. Supposedly, this is the trailer. So it's a television news. People. Wall Street. Is this? That's the pit in Wall Street. I don't know. I don't know what this. I've given it away. No, yes. This is, this is this is this is. I don't think this is the. Let's let's try I, this one. This show scared the pants off. It so many scared the pants off everyone. Yeah. Okay, we got guys coming in here. They're scrambling, dude. They're scrambling. E52. Okay, this this was a television movie, a television event on ABC. Yes. Having already captured NATO advanced positions. Called the day after. Guys, hear anything about an alert? I really don't think either side wants to be the first to use a nuclear device. It's not a question of who. That was great. East Germany sealed off the border. Literally, like people, average Americans, going about their morning. They're waking up. Jason Robards. Right. His wife is saying it's not going to happen. They're laying in bed, scrambling a bunch of jets. I'm. I don't believe it's happening. We have a massive attack against the U.S. at this time. ICBMs. I'm not going to start. Moving faster, scrambling, more frenetic. Either we Frantic. fight first, and they're going to try to hit what's left. But they fight first, and we just got our mission done. should be required viewing today. Uh, right now. Go up and watch this the day after. <laughs> of course, oh, quick run. And there goes the missiles. I remember the part in the show where the Kansas farmer's out there. Oh, in look, the here it is. There we go. Oh, uh, the little kid running in the field. Yep. Beyond tomorrow and into the day after. All right. Uh huh. Yeah. So there you go. That, I've been wanting to share that. Thank you, YouTube, for, for a while. Um, that is the trailer for the the show. The day after it was, I think it was a mini series. Yeah. Um, apparently, my understanding. Do you know who the director was? No. Uh, we can check the facts on this, but I was reading Nicholas Meyer. Do you know Nicholas Meyer? I do know. heard the name. Yes. Uh, he did a little, still early. Give me a. He did a little movie. Yeah. A little sci-fi movie called The Wrath of Khan. He directed that. Here we go. Yeah. And then he came back for for seconds. Um, That's right. Uh, Star Trek, and he did the last uh, Star Trek original Unde- series, The Undiscovered, Undiscovered Country, Country, which is about detente. Yeah. Yes. Which is about the Klingons and the. Let's slip the dogs of war. Anyway. That's a good one. Both. Yeah. Both. It, uh, if you like the Star Trek thing, those are both. Both to my my two favorite uh, Star Trek movies. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're excellent, and they're directed by Nicholas Meyer. He's also wrote the Ten Percent Solution, and uh, ah. just like yeah, yeah, he's he's a really smart guy. He's supposedly working on the new Star Trek series as well, excellent. so that's good news. Excellent. But <clears throat> excuse me, uh, but apparently he directed the day after, my understanding. Yeah. Uh, and it was scary. I mean, there was a, that scene uh, where the little kids yeah. running away in the field, and the, the and there's the flash, flash. Yeah. goes off, right? Yeah. You know, and uh, this is you know we I was in grade school. You know, I mean, yeah. this is yeah. and and we had to come in. It was such a scary show that we had to come into school 
the next day and, and discuss. talk about I it. Mean, Teacher, yeah. Safe spaces. They didn't call them safe spaces then, but boy, did we need our safe spaces right. then because we just watched a TV show where it was about the nuclear war. Yeah. Um, and it was really scary. And, you know, I'm not seeing that fear these days. I'm seeing us play around with a lot of things. Very you cavalier, know. yes. Yeah, and 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 that's that's my that's my beef with uh with the quote left Democrats, Rachel Maddow, you know, let's sure. throw this guy out. I get it. I get it. Well, there's other reasons I don't like that strategy as well. We can talk about that mm. later, but but really, 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 uh, 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 pe- people, people with nuclear bombs aren't aren't people to to mess with. <laughs> right. and, you, and, may, you may want to uh, put down the stick there, Bob. Uh, these people got nukes. You may not, you may not want to pick a fight. And and uh, Trump, yeah, uh, the president. Yeah. Uh, he he was just uh, was it last, was it end of last week? He was on the. U.S. is it USS uh, Gerald R. Ford? Yes, yes. The brand new super carrier, right. super aircraft carrier that we built. Uh, right. I can't remember how many billions of dollars that thing cost, but it it was a lot. <laughs> it, was, it was a lot. <laughs> it's not pocket change. That's um, what the report says in the OMB report. It says a lot. Well, uh, and we know that the military can't actually account, right? For that, that's wonderful. You know, while yeah. we're fighting about health care yeah. for Americans, uh, you know, it's like, mm, well, it's just, just a pile of cash over here on a pallet. What do we do with it? Mm, I don't know. Yeah. Better shoot it over to uh, a rock. Mm. Sure. Why not? Okay. Yeah. 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 All right. So beating that dead horse. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah. uh, what have we learned here? And, and I want to keep, because if there's yes. anyone young, which there aren't, that will listen to us. <laughs> there aren't. There may be someone in Scranton, you know, some kid got sick, stayed home from school. Like, oh, yeah. what, what this news box click? Yeah. You force your kids to listen. Of it's course. Like, You're my kids. You will listen to my show. Of course. Um, There'll be pop quiz later. Too. Exactly. Uh, but if, if we do anything, I want to yeah. bring that back because we're curmudgeons. We're old guys. Right. I want to bring back, you know, uh, and, and the, the thing, yeah. the other thing that really I didn't like about this uh, uh Congress guy who was on on uh, I just almost said Hannity Swalwell, Swalwell who is on uh, he is one vowel away from having a porn name sw- <laughs> one vowel away swallow carry on <laughs> I don't know oh oh Swalwell yeah see I was thinking the bird uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jason I know I know it's the morning I this know is it is radio. I know it is but We're it's supposed a, to be keeping the it filter clean. sometimes just comes down man We're supposed to be keeping yeah. it clean for the affiliates. We are, that's why I just said vowel you know I didn't and elaborate then, and then I jumped right in <laughs> <laughs> you know that and is, I literally was thinking birds listen, I, you I, had to have clarification I understand <sighs> I understand this. Thanks. Welcome to Anarchy <laughs> Radio in the morning. Right, Anarchy AM. We'll have some exotic dancers coming in later and sure. talking about uh, sure. their take on uh, healthcare. <laughs> uh, so, what do you think? Yeah. <laughs> Put a microphone there. And they do. Anyway. They do, actually. Uh, we all do. Uh, so, uh, d- yeah. I totally lost my train of thought. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so what this yeah. congressman. Uh, Swalwell, California. He he was saying on Tucker Carlson. Yes, is he said? Well, I was born in eighty, and you know, uh, I and, and Tucker said, you know, back in the old days, we had people, especially on the Democrat side, who were like trying to make peace and you know yeah. worried about this that we're talking about nuclear bombs going off and that yeah. sort of thing. Yeah, and um, and he said, uh, well, I was born in nineteen eighty, and and I'm talking about the here and now. Uh, uh, you know, we're not talking about the past. I mean, to paraphrase, uh, yeah, you put it a little different, but to paraphrase, that's what he said. And who I needs wanted, history? I wanted I was to born reach out and <laughs> strangle his little born in 1980 right neck until he opened up a history book. Right. Yeah. And and the problem I think we have here with the curmudgeons is we've got yes. two history majors. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And and. And I don't know why it seems like old guys like us are the history people. I mean, when I was young, we, I was studying history. I went. We, I did a year uh, of Russian history. 
in college. Oh, I bet you that was fun. It was. Yeah. And that was during, that was before Perestroika. Or that was actually about during Perestroika, which yeah. led up to the fall of the Soviet Union. So right. If you did not know how to spell show. glasnost, you were in trouble. Yeah, glasnost, glasnost and para, perestroika. Per, perestroika. That, so that was yeah. a... Uh, Gorby, uh, Gorbachev, who's still around, actually, still uh, is, yes, um, and uh, and Ronald Reagan, uh, yes, the Cold Warrior, Mister Gorbachev, tear down that wall. Well, and yeah. and we were convinced mm. as as a teenager, mm-hmm. we were convinced that Reagan was going to drop the bomb on them. I mean, he had a stance. There, it was, and I, I do remember uh, firsthand too. I, I do remember uh, this attitude, almost like a. Uh, he's almost too much of a cowboy. He's a wild card. He's a maverick. You know, he could just maybe get us into a, you know, a, a, li- a limited or unlimited nuclear strike with Russians. I, I, I do remember that. Uh, but yet yeah, we, uh, I guess us as uh, Generation X, um, we I, I are the last generation that grew up that knows what actually the Cold War was and is. I mean, like I said, when I was at, when I was in uh, grade school, I remember having to sitting underneath my desk while they were doing a uh, a uh, nu- you know a nuclear uh, war drill, right? And uh, so when when kids today when they say, "Hey, uh, you, know, you know, screw history," I, you know, what does that have to do? It's it's all about the now, all about the here and now. Like you, I I, I get I I, I want to strang- I want to strangle them in their cribs, but no, I I, I get a little uh, frustrated because uh, one of my watch watch phrases has always been though you know uh, those who forget their history are doomed to repeat it, and Absolutely. it seems like and it seems like uh, us us stoop as Charlton Heston you know us stupid humans just keep uh, going around on the old gerbil you know wheel. Around and around, we tend to forget our history. Yeah, and and I know that we're like I'm driving this into the the ground, but it it needs to be said. It's it's yeah. like front and center. Uh, yeah. We have we both have kids. Yeah. Um, and you know that's the rumor, anyways. Yeah, supposedly. Uh, but you know, while we're going to our blockbuster Marvel movies and all those things, let's let's look back a little bit and, yeah. and see what's going on, you know? And, and also, this idea that we're not getting cooperation. Now, yeah. two senators... Yes, okay. Back in those days, yeah. and you may recall this, who were anti-nuclear senators and Republicans, and they were from the great state of... Oregon. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. I, uh, I was going in another direction, but I, I, I get it, yeah. No, Mark Hatfield. Yes. A Republican from Oregon that would get in. You know, the you late, know, great Mark. If, if you yes. think about that, you're thinking a Republican from Oregon? Yes, yeah. we've had a history. We have <laughs> had Republicans in, in Oregon before. Sure. He was an anti-nuke Republican. He would send out these letters, because mm. we didn't have, like, the email and all that back sure. then, about the Prol- prolifer- proliferation. Thank you. It's early, and I haven't had my second <laughs> cup of coffee uh, of uh, nuclear bombs. And yes. uh, Bob Packwood, who Bob? is also a Republican, mm-hmm. not uh, Naughty Bob. Yeah, uh, he he was also on board with that. He was actually even more liberal, I would say, than than Hatfield. And when Reagan won office, and that was when the Congress and Reagan, you know, yeah. they, they, there was power of the Republicans. Yeah. Hatfield was up to. He was the senior senator so yeah. he was the reagan right hand guy and, and he was walking in with reagan and all that yeah but reagan with his anti uh his anti-soviet you know his 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 strategy uh, right. hatfield got pushed away but that's an example of how you know the republicans at that time were seen yeah. as the hawks and right they're, and they're traditionally yes. seen as hawks but this guy was wasn't a hawk. I mean, Wasn't it's not about defending your country. It's not about, hey, someone's going to do something to right, us. Right. This is, uh, believe me, I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about yeah. anyone attacking the United States and yeah. us not responding. I think that's the least of our worries. What I'm worried about is something going uh, terribly wrong mm-hmm. and uh, and we make this world into a uh, uh, 
a nuclear dust <laughs> a, par- a parking lot something and that looks like mars right um, yeah so uh you know we've <laughs> again it's, it's one of my favorite subjects actually mm-hmm. um so uh let's so that's rachel maddow that's rachel maddow <laughs> hey and that's Rachel Maddow. <laughs> that, that's our own 23 minutes later, right? That's exactly. We, Bam, just, we, just did, we just did the Rachel Maddow. We, a little, little less on the research, but... Yeah. Cue, uh, cue Paul McCartney, Long and Winding Road. Yeah, there and, we go. Um, but uh, no, it's interesting because a lot of people, when they talk about stuff ripped out of the headlines today, like Maddow, what we're talking about... A lot of people uh, don't think of the backstory that is that comes into it. And... Uh, you, you can be rest assured, folks, that us curmudgeons get to the bottom of it, okay? That's we're, right. Uh, we're, we're, we're drilling deep here, folks. And, uh, yeah, and so, so the, the, the story was that he, he paid taxes and he sold a house and the guy right. was Russian. Whatever. Right. And, and, and here's the other thing. I don't want to be silly. I don't want to be stupid either. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm Let not, me do that. I'm not. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm not. I'm not saying. I'm. I'm not going to say. There's nothing here. Yeah. 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 Right. What is the famous phrase? There's nothing here. Here or something. Yeah, move something. along. Nothing to see here. Don't yeah. worry about it. Uh, uh, if if there is some sort of influence, direct influence yeah. on the president and his men, then by golly, yeah. Let's take a look at that. He, um, he 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 is a master and a master uh, of uh, making. F- Remember how you used to watch cartoons and guy was in his car and he's getting chased and they're just about ready to get him and you push that button, boop, and here comes like the fog and the oil slick and oh my gosh, he is great at putting up a huge amount of fog out there. When you uh, say talk about the Russians, oh my gosh, something maybe here, something there's something to this, then bam. You go on a story about Rachel Matt. Oh my gosh, the tax returns are nothing. Yeah. So you kind of forget it. He is awesome. And so when people uh, people say this morning that well, it, it is distinctly possible that Trump released his own tax returns. That's that's what they're saying here. There's uh, th- there is some veracity to that, you know. Well, and and then uh, yeah, he paid taxes. It was like twenty. Hey, some, yeah, you learned that he whatever. paid thirty four million dollars in Something, taxes. Whatever. I wrote some stuff off. Uh, everything you'd expect. Um, I, I think I think the other thing yeah. that that Maddow does. That I've seen, not just her, but others, a lot on NBC side, MSNBC side, yeah. is there's this sentence that comes as they're talking through this, and then mm-hmm. hacked the elections, hacked mm. the elections, hacked the American elections. Yeah, folks, I'm going to say it here oh, right now. Okay, let me do the typewriter in the background and make it sound like breaking news. <laughs> yeah, I need the sound effect. Uh, Russia did not hack our elections. They didn't hack them. Okay. Mm, 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 uh, mm. Yep. Propaganda? Sure, maybe. They've been doing that for years. Ever since b- back in the 70s. Yeah. We do it too. It's late Voice of America. Late to the party? Uh, They've it, been doing it for a while. The reason Clinton yeah. and Putin don't get along is because mm. Clinton was criticizing Putin's elections yeah. back in 2005 or right. something like that. I can't remember where it uh, This is just a game. Uh, it, it, there, there is no, there's no like election machines or anything. There's no evidence that anything was actually hacked. Right. The DNC, uh, their server got hacked. It's unclear how, how, who, who was behind that. Uh, uh, apparently, John Podesta mm-hmm. uh, fell for a phishing scheme. That's yeah. what happens, and that yeah. happens. Yeah. Uh, Russia has – there's a lot of hackers in Eastern Europe and Russia and China. Mm-hmm. They're all over. Again, I used to run a self-hosted WordPress site. I got hacked a few times. <laughs> Guess where the IP addresses came from? Right, right. So, right. Uh, But there's no the, – the election outcome was not uh, outcome. Somebody even said you could – Blame the FBI director even more on the election outcome than than sure. Vladimir Putin. Sure. So yeah. I even I don't blame I don't blame him either. But uh, I I would I would buy that argument before I'd say that Vladimir Putin was like hiding out in right. you know in those little the little cubbies where people go in. You know we vote by mail here in Oregon. Yay, that's what we all should do. Yeah. But uh, you know uh, he's like in the cubby. Um, you know gotcha yeah no my take on the russian thing is is a lot of it is the same i i take a little 
different angle. Um, did the Russians hack the election? Probably not. I don't think they could get that deep in to actually uh, uh, control the election. Uh, did they uh, have any sort of uh, propaganda and or a campaign to uh, try to influence? Oh, it's yeah. the Russians. They've yeah. been doing this for years. It is what it is. And we do the same thing. And we do the same thing, right. Um, but where, where I come down a little bit more on uh, just my, my, my thing is I, I believe that there should be a real hardcore uh, uh, independent bipartisan look, 9-11 uh, type commission to look into it. Uh, because I'm not, I, there was at least at some level, there was some collusion between Trump's campaign and uh, the Russians. You know, I, and I, that, that has to be well, I, I, it probably Paul Manafort, right? Paul Manafort, uh, Flynn was, you know, he called he yeah. had, the day that uh, uh, former President Obama said they were going to uh, toughen the sanctions, Flynn called the Russian ambassador five times. He wasn't yeah. asking about the guy's kids. Well, you is know. that a slippery slope, though? Because then it, we've got it, Jeff Sessions, and then it's like, oh, Nancy Pelosi, the Democrat, yeah. you know, it's like, yeah, hey, yeah. Get, guess what? These people are meeting with Russians. It, They're in the government. It is. Isn't that what you do? Yeah, it is, and it, it is, and it can be, but yeah. I would say that, that the probably thing that you cite on the Air on the side of caution is because of the now you know news right. now that he was a foreign agent you know right. actually and so I, I think that that does at the end of the day I think it does warrant a uh, I'm, I'm, a, a look into it I'm all for uh, what do they say shine the light to, you know cleanse it you know I'm all for it I'm right. all for open government I'm I'm all for it but uh, but I I don't like I don't like the narrative uh, the conclusion when when we haven't really you know done that. no and, and uh it uh that that sort of blanket uh it was the russians that did this really uh it really was middle america that did this folks and it was also make america great again uh, right rallies with thousands of people i hate to tell you this yeah. but there was a message there that that americans yeah uh uh, uh that they they took to right and um and um the the party uh the clinton no i didn't, i, I didn't, totally didn't agree happen. i totally agree and also when you just blanket throw out there it's the russians the russians the russians you totally uh negate and, what needs to be done yeah and also you, let's face facts hillary ran a crappy campaign okay yeah. uh, and that get, kind of gets lost in the shuffle she she did as much to defeat her own self as right you know but whatever